this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a- What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. This is Sam. And this is Bo. And we are Bars and Barbells. We have been dropping a whole lot of videos for you guys. You guys have been giving us a whole lot of support. Thank you. And we greatly appreciate yes, that. Yes, we do. So if you haven't done so, and this is your first video, check out this one. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy it, hit that like button and notifications, subscribe. Make sure you turn those on and leave a comment. If you do like the video as well, go check out our other ones. Yeah, we have a couple Bill Burr ones now, right? Yeah, we, we're, we're doing some Bill Burr. We've got Dave Chappelle in there. We've got more on the way. So we got content for you guys coming, yeah. and there's some already Thank there you. that you can go and check out. But with that said, we are doing Bill Burr today. There is no reason to hit a woman. Why are we doing it? Because they recommended it. Oh, spicy. I love yeah. recommendations. And he's got a lot of ones about women. <laughs> so, he really does. That's what I'm starting to notice. So He um, chooses all like the very controversial ones. Yeah. Topics. Yeah. Luckily he likes to start pot, ruffle little feathers. Luckily that we have a woman here that doesn't get too sensitive when it comes to these topics <laughs> and is a little more open minded. So we can watch these with some enjoyment. And that's what we're going to try to do. We'll see. I think Bill's pretty funny normally, so I, I think I'm, uh, we might have something, something, you know, a little bit of heat here. So, so we'll something see. Cook it. Yeah. So you ready? All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's get it. One time she was watching this show. It was like a poor excuse for the view. And they started talking about domestic violence. Right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo. You know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly. You know? <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust! Right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah, now I get it, up a daisy, sweetheart, here we go, there you go, oh. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying? Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day. There you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons. <laughs> In that arc of a story. Facts. No, that's oh the thing. Really is. That's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. You say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out and not only that yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever <laughs> answer him answer him <laughs> every fucking special I do there's always one 
<laughs> oh, it's right down the He's fucking going middle. Going in. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. <laughs> and I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> fucking unbelievable! <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing. Okay, what? You, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Right? <laughs> how did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They <laughs> sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Oh my God. Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging. Right? <laughs> tuna casserole. I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating. Right? <laughs> they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> you know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? Like, <laughs> you know? Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. <laughs> Right? <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my out. I'll bring my out. <laughs> now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is the core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, <laughs> I finally figured out how they argued. I'm going to tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. <laughs> They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate, <laughs> Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? <laughs> And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. Oh my God. That's crazy. That was jokes. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was my favorite part. Was <laughs> concocting, <laughs> stirring up the recipe yeah, for the arguments. Literally. Is that what you do? No, never. Never? I don't know, guys. Uh, I, I enjoyed Bill Burr's uh, rendition of No Reason to Hit a Woman. Yeah. I think uh, it was. He's I was kind of like, where are you even going to go with this? I like, know. How are you going to make this I funny? started thinking but he, always, he was like digging himself a hole a little bit at, at one he point. He always finds a way to make it funny. But then right? he just climbed right out. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I guess that's his style, right? Is he like 
throws you into the hole, and then is like, all right, we got to get ourselves out of yeah. here in the most hilarious he also fashion just possible. He ripping apart that chick in the audience. <laughs> that was funny, too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't really, like, say I disagree either with a lot of the shit that he's saying is that, you know, in relationship dynamics, a lot of the time that we tend to look at it as men are the problem, you know, with so many different aspects, yeah. but women can contribute significantly. And oh, like, I know some crazy girls yeah, who have taken it pretty far more. And I even like hear of more so now, maybe we just hear about it more now, but like more about like women beating dudes, yeah, yeah. you know, like beating up dudes and like they just stand there and like take it because, you know, they're supposed to be bigger yeah. and stronger and just do that. But, like, it's kind of crazy to think about it. Like, that's okay for a female to do that. Especially but if, when there's, like, some big women out there. Yeah, but even though, like, like but that's... a strength and size standpoint. Yeah, but that's why it's it's messed up, right? Because, like, most women that hit on guys, they're not going to do a whole lot of damage, right? And then the flip side is, though, if, if most men hit on a lot of women, they're probably going to do a lot of damage. So that's yeah. why it's, like, that's why you look, you're looked upon as a male. Like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. But it's just like there's so much more to it. What he was talking about was like yeah. there's the psychological side of things that really can mess with well, you, right? Yeah, like you shouldn't really be able to, you know, push somebody so far and not expect some sort of repercussion. Yeah, well, percent. we're all, we're all human beings at the end of the day, right? Yeah. But Bill found a good way to to make that super funny. Um, but yeah, I I was thinking I was smiling the whole time. I'll have to rewatch the video, but I, I I found it funny. You? Yeah, I found it funny. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, there was there was one part there. Where I was like, where is he even taking this? But he just came right back. So you weren't offended. No. No. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah. No, I'm not like offended. I think that like you know implying that like I think I think it's just one of those things that like it, like he said it's not a one size fits all thing, right? Yeah. So to say that, you know, there's no reason out there, I think, is I would agree with him. But to also say that, you know, um, to just assume there's always a reason is also not necessarily <laughs> fair. Yeah, so. no, I don't think he ever said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He openly said he shouldn't hit a yeah. woman, yeah, yeah. right? So that's the key. No, I thought it was so. funny. I got a good laugh. Yeah. A couple good laughs. Yeah, no, I was hilarious. I thought it was good. So yeah. uh, Bill Burr. Hit the comments. Let us know which other ones that we should be listening to. Let, let us know which ones you guys like. Because I've liked a lot of the Bill Burr so yeah, far. Yeah, he's... I didn't even know who he was. And he's gotten me laughing on all yeah. of them, so... Hit that like button as well, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And come back soon and watch our next video. See you guys in the next one. Take care for now.